Robinson, Kanda at the buzzer. The Fighting Hawks fly to the top of the Big Sky. North Dakota men's basketball, regular season, Big Sky Conference champions, and will be the number one seed in the conference tournament in Reno. Brian Jones, Quentin Hooker, and company are UND proud. Quentin Hooker wins a league championship in his senior year at North Dakota. 29 for the Big Sky preseason player of the year. And it's hard to figure that he will not be the regular season player of the year when those awards are announced very soon. All right, let's go down on the floor to Andrew Marsh. Congratulations. What does a win like this do for this program? Well, it means a lot. One, for our seniors to, to do something that hasn't been done in our Division I journey as a conference championship. Couldn't happen to a, to a great group, but uh, it's just been a journey for all of us who've been here, the players of the past, coaches of the past. It's, it's, a, it's just a great day to be a Fighting Hawk, so we're just excited that we got the opportunity to play and fight a great crowd and, and get, get a conference championship. Quentin Hooker's been your rock all season. What does he bring to a team like this? Uh, I, there's so many things. It's what he does in the locker room, what he does uh, in his community. You're, he's hard to replace. You just saw the effort he played at tonight, tremendous effort. Loose ball scored us, got the ball where it needed to go. So he, I couldn't be more happy for him, but he's, he's an unbelievable person and an unbelievable player for us. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Guys. All right, Brian Jones finishes the job. Quentin Hooker, a victory lap with the Fighting Hawks flag. And there's another senior, Corey Baldwin, who finishes the ball game. Eight points, six rebounds, and an assist. Baldwin, a key part of this championship. So how about the year for North Dakota Athletics, Al? Big Sky champs in football, volleyball, women's basketball, and now, men's basketball. That's a big sky grand slam. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Outstanding job on all of those programs to bring home the hardware. More importantly, for North Dakota, the number one seed going to the next season tournament. They're down on the floor. They're watching some highlights of when they played Eastern Washington here earlier this season right now up on the big screen. What a season for UND. The Fighting Hawks improved to 19 and 9 overall. 14 and 4 in the big sky for Quentin Hooker and North Dakota basketball. All right, let's go down on the floor for UND Athletics Director Brian Faison, who will address the crowd. To go with a program best 14 wins in a season against the Big Sky. And last but not least, with today's victory, the Fighting Hawks have secured the number one seed during the Big Sky Conference Tournament next week in Reno. And now please direct your attention to the court for a special presentation with North Dakota Director of Athletics, Brian Faison, and University of North Dakota President, Mark Kennedy. Ladies and gentlemen, great crowd. Thank you for being a part of this all season long. <laughs> to the players, the coaches, the support staff, congratulations, it's awesome, just awesome. But more important, in a lot of ways, for the whole university, you represent history. You're the first on the men's basketball side, but you're also part of an interesting tradition now. We've won four major championships in the Big Sky this year. No other school in the history of the Big Sky has done that in one year. So to volleyball, to football, the women's basketball and men's basketball, congratulations. Let's get them in Reno.
no other Big Sky institution has won championships in the same season in volleyball, football, men's basketball, and women's basketball. How sweet it is for UND celebrating on its home court at the Betty in front of a near packed house. Nearly 3,000 people in here today. A near capacity crowd as UND grabs the crown in the Big Sky Conference. A nine point win for North Dakota over Portland State. And the men's basketball team celebrates with the football team. UND Big Sky Champions. Let's go to break. We'll come back to wrap it up in Grand Forks. Title time at UND. Celebration time at the Betty as North Dakota downs Portland State and claims the regular season Big Sky Championship. Kyle Duperalski along with Al Bahi. Al, North Dakota led it by two at the break and just outmuscled and outworked Portland State in the final 20 minutes. Well, they lived two of Brian Jones' favorite words this season, resiliency and grit. Those are the two words he used to describe this team. That's what they needed to do, particularly late in that first half when Portland State made that run. At the end of the first half, North Dakota needed to regroup. They came out and they did that throughout the entire second half with no letdowns and put this one away. Let's take a look at the highlights. We'll go all the way back to the first half. First shot of the game, Gino Prandtl pulls up and hits that three-point shot. We talked about how North Dakota needed a fast start. That was it. Prandtl, the long outlet. Back-to-back -back games with eight assists for Gino Prandtl and the dunk by Drake Bernstein. Bryce Kanda, a little floater in the lane for two points in the first half as Portland State doesn't go away. Robinson down the lane with the left-hander. He had 13 points in the first half and a nice run out by Quinton Hooker. Brandon Hollins for Portland State finished the ball game with six points. That was his only three so far of the season. Jit Bernstein, seven points to go along with eight rebounds today. Kalen Robinson had 13 points in the first half, but only scored two in the entire second half. Quinton Hooker, what do you say about him? 29 for him. UND led by two at the break. And they came out and set the tone again in the second half. The nice bounce pass, Bernstein. He also had a great game with Four assists in the contest. Hooker, this is Gino Crandall deep in the corner that turned that into a four point play for North Dakota. Portland State doesn't go away. Traylon Ferris twice went back to back down low before Hooker started to take over this game in the final seven minutes of the contest. Puts his shoulder down, kicks this one out. This was a huge basket by Cortez Seals to give his team a bit of a cushion near the end. The other dagger right there, the three-point shot from Quentin Hooker that sealed the deal for the Fighting Hawks. All right, let's go down to Andrew Marsh, who has UND senior Corey Baldwin. Corey, congratulations. Big Sky regular season champions. First one to cut the net. How sweet is this? It's, it's real sweet, man. I just give the glory to God, man. All of our guys remain humble, and we stuck with the process. Awesome. Uh, look around, senior day, just what, what are your emotions right now? They're real high right now. My parents was able to make it from Connecticut, and just to win this in front of them and all of our senior parents, it was ridiculous, man. Awesome. Congrats, Corey. Thank you. I Have a good it. one. So North Dakota wins it 82 to 73, and now this, shape, this is shaping up to be an outstanding week. Next week in Reno, UND, the number one seed, will play the first game of the day on Thursday for the men. Next week will be a whole lot of fun, high expectations for UND. Yeah, now that everything is gonna be sorted out, at least after tonight, but North Dakota knows where they sit. So they know who potentially they could play in their first round game. Well, actually, they've gotta buy first round, so when they get to Thursday, they've got some days off. So they can enjoy this for a little bit, but they've got to get back to work right away when they get out there and carry this momentum over into the tournament out in Reno. It's hard to add what Quentin Hooker has meant to this program, but we saw him celebrating down there on the court. Hooker, 29 points, part of our final stat package here as you take a look at a nine-point Fighting Hawk victory. 13-point rebounding advantage for North Dakota. 
You see the two teams combining for 26 steals, which was not a surprise. They're the top two teams in the conference when it comes to that. They also combined for 33 assists in the contest. Points in the paint is where North Dakota excelled, outscoring Portland State by 16. It was 40 to 24. The big key down the stretch, the 21 of 23 free throws that North Dakota hit the icing. So Al, your final thoughts on this, a championship broadcast, a nine point victory for UND over Portland State. Brian Jones and company in year five in the big sky will hang a banner. Well, I think at the end of the game, you saw Brian Jones, you saw Quentin Hooker with big size of relief. I mean, this feels like a big weight off of their shoulders right now because they had the expectations. They had the pressure to perform and finish at the top of the Big Sky Conference. They did it. It took until the last game of the regular season to do it, but they needed this coming off a couple of subpar performances last Saturday and then Thursday night here against Sacramento State. This was the game they needed to launch themselves into Reno for the postseason tournament. Quentin Hooker, 29 points, didn't have great performances the last couple of times out. I think you could just feel it in his mind. You could feel it watching him play. He knew that he needed to perform at a high level today, and he certainly did. That's the mark of a leader. That's what he does both on the court and off the floor. You talk. You heard Brian Jones talk about it. In fact, Ryan Powell, the radio voice of UND, told us before the game, Quentin's going to have a big game today. I can feel it. He's prophetic. Quentin was outstanding. All right, let's go down to Andrew with the man of the hour, Quentin Hooker. Quentin, more work to be done, but how sweet is this? Uh, you know, it's you know, all the glory goes to God. You know, we could not have done this without him. And truly, this has been four years in the work. You know, seeing the my freshman year, you know, getting that championship, and you know how close we were to you know getting a regular season championship. Then, you know, it's there's still a lot of work to be done. And that's you know we're gonna enjoy this moment for sure for today, and you know just be blessed to be in this position. How was it uh, cutting the, cutting that net down? Man, it's something special. It's, it's unbelievable, really. It's everything that being a basketball player you dream of as a young kid. And, you know, to, to be able to do that here at University of North Dakota has truly, I'm just so thankful. Congrats and uh, good luck in Reno. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, this championship presentation of North Dakota basketball is a co-production of University of North Dakota students and staff. The producer is David Folsky. The director is Derek Korchek. For Andrew Marsh on the sidelines and analyst Al Bahi, I'm Kyle Doporalski. Once again, the final score, North Dakota 82, Portland State 73. North Dakota will raise a banner as Big Sky Champions. On behalf of our entire UND Fox crew, for the final time this season, good night from Grand Forks.